Welcome to Bondi Beach, Australia, known to be one of the most iconic beaches in the country. Probably due to its hiking, ocean and pool swimming, surfing, restaurants, and local shops. And there's so many amazing views no matter where you're looking from. and is located only four miles east of the center of Sydney. So if you're in Sydney, Bundai Beach is another convenient place to get in touch with nature. Beach, Sydney, Australia. Heard a lot about this place. When I came out here, I was like, oh, okay, I get it now. I see why everybody is out here. They go crazy for this beach. The weather is not the best today, but you can still see some of the views that are out here. As you can see here, the beach can get pretty crowded with locals and foreigners, especially during the summer months. Although you still have plenty of room to move around anywhere on the beach, but it's definitely not the beach to come to if you want to relax and have peace of mind. Probably better fit for groups, parties, or just people who want to be actively in the water. I've been around the world and very few places offer true urban living with the convenience of some of the best beaches in the world only a short distance away. And in my book, that's another plus for Sydney. The beaches here remind me a lot of San Diego in Southern California. If you come into Australia for the beaches, just remember the summer months are from December to February. And the water temperature in Fahrenheit can get to the low 70s and Celsius, low 20s. Yeah, that's not the place you want to be with your drone, man.
Goldberg's Diner, conveniently located right on the beach. The food is pretty good too. Beach, where uh, we were up there, we got some views up there. Walking down now, and you can kind of see a lot of people out here. But we're gonna go down, get a little bit, a little bit on the level of the beach, another site, and then try to get an angle where you can see the whole beach along the way. Um, punching through, seeing everybody out there, a lot of people out here. A lot of different ways to walk around the beach too it's not a how can i say it it's not just the beach as far as the sand you actually have a lot of these areas you can walk through but we got to figure out how to get down right there but it's a lot of people out here on this beach it's um three in the afternoon it had it got a little cloudy for a second but now it's much better and you got a lot of people up here in the green grass as well all out here, all up there, all the way over there, walk into another section. So let me let me put this down for a second and take my shoes off and we'll make it across over there. All right, Bondi Beach, Sydney, Australia. Hopefully the camera has me in there, okay. You gotta watch yourself out here like this. There's some prickly stuff. I think I got something caught up in my foot. Let me see, I think we're good now, okay. So Bondi Beach, Sydney, Australia, it's the most popular tourist beach here in Sydney. I think most popular is tourist beach in Australia and it's it's pretty big I don't know if you can see all of this I know you can because I'm showing you other video but it's a huge beach a lot of people out here and today is today is Wednesday there's people out here but we are in the holiday season this is the summer on this side of the globe so you got a lot of people out here enjoying it. a lot of tourists out here as well it's a lot to do here at this beach. You obviously have the beach. You have the water sports. You can surf. You got restaurants located over there, restaurants and bars. You also have another restaurant back here that has two swimming pools right next to it and a restaurant on top. Um, and we took some video from there as well. You have people right here doing yoga. It's a lot of, a lot of nice stuff here on Bondi Beach. I'm glad I came out here. It's funny because my Uber driver was like, oh, it's not, it's not a great beach. Maybe for him, he might be spoiled. But for any, anybody else, if you're coming through, this is not too far. I'd say a 40 minute ride, 30 to 40 minute ride from the center of Sydney to here. You can also catch a bus, which is about an hour and they'll drop you off out here. And this beach actually reminds me of Seal Beach in San Diego. Even the, the whole cliff situation right here is reminiscent of uh, Seal Beach in San Diego or Sunset Beach, same vibes. Even the drive down here, similar feel. The, the green over there, same, same vibes. But yeah, Bundai Beach, Australia. If you haven't been, if you're in Sydney, you come to Australia, this is a must. You gotta check it out. It's, um, hopefully you're here during a good time of year where everybody's out here. If you are, it's a good time. Good place to visit. One more thing. Make sure you hit that like and you subscribe and share the video. Who else been to Australia? You don't know nobody else been to Australia. So go ahead and do what you know you need to do. So yeah, just remember, man, we, we trying to give you the best quality content while, while going to these 
these abstract places. Um, it's not always easy carrying all this equipment, setting it up takes more time than, than what it would with other equipment. But it's, uh, I feel, hopefully you guys appreciate it because it's, it's time consuming. It, it costs more, it's uh, more of a hassle. But I feel like the end product a lot of times is a better product. Um, if you agree with me, like I said, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, support. And I'm not asking for donations. I'm just asking for you guys to watch a good amount of the video, maybe even watch some of the commercials and uh, just keep it moving, you know, and learn as I'm learning as we're going around the world to all these places.